I was reading these visitor guidelines and this caught my eye. It says, don't perform any of the rituals inside the site. <laughs> this is Mexico. Good morning. Good morning. Take it. Yeah. Okay, I'm here in Saqqara, which is uh, formerly known, I guess the area was part of Memphis, which used to be the capital of Egypt before it became Cairo. Anyhow, that's the world's oldest pyramid here, and this is actually the site of the largest uh, archaeological excavation in Egypt. But I'm going to get to go check these uh, ruins out and uh, get closer to the oldest pyramid. So yeah, let's go check this stuff out. What I do like about this before I uh, cut to the next clip is I do like the fact that not a lot of people do come out here. Most people will go to the pyramids of Giza, and rightfully so. But just, just about another 35, 40 minutes south of the pyramids of Giza is Saqqara. So do yourself a favor and get off the beaten path a little bit and come out here and check this out. Recently did that or did some columns over here. This is the colonnade entrance. Yeah. Yeah. and stuff off on the sides here. So there's like six tombs around the uh, site here. This one says it's the southern tomb, but I'm really limited on time. So we're going to get closer to the pyramid over here. But again, this is one of those things you gotta have people in the shot to get a sense of scale. So some people are walking here towards me but if you just get in there close, it's still a pretty massive pyramid. Okay, now that I'm much closer, one of my observations is this was obviously the oldest pyramid in Egypt. So when they were stacking this thing up, you can look at the rocks. They're almost pretty much all generally the same size. As opposed to the pyramids of Giza, when you look at the big one there, they had bigger uh, blocks, if you will, for the bottom, and it got smaller as you went up. So it's kind of like they, they learned, and uh, you know, through time they learned how to make it better and better. But uh, you can look at this one and see that a lot of them are all approximately about the same size. Let's see them right up to the top. And as you can see, they're all about the same size from the top all the way to the bottom. So there's a um, entryway where you can enter into the inside, but I don't quite have the time today to do that. I got too many other pyramids to see. It should go without saying, but uh, as tempting as it may be to want to climb these pyramids, it is a crime here in Egypt. And uh, punishable no, no less than 1,000 Egyptian pounds is not a lot, but still, you don't want to commit any crimes in a foreign country. So, do not climb on the pyramids. As I said earlier, uh, one of the people at the front of the entrance said there's about six tombs. And I believe this is probably another entrance to one. This one over there in the corner. Down that way. Now something I noticed years ago, the first time I went to Greece, to Athens, to the Acropoli, and um, in Greece, is that there's an area where there's a deep, deep hole where you can see how far deep the foundation goes, which to me, by my estimates, it was definitely over 100 feet. But again, the pyramids are no exception. For anything to you know stand, and you always hear the 
the quote about it takes a strong foundation. And even though these are steps going into a lower level of the pyramid, it just gives you an, an, an idea that there's so much more under the ground, you know, than, than what's above. And that's just amazing to see how many levels deep, just from what we can see walking around, that it goes. Hey, some hieroglyphics on the wall. Yeah, real tight space in here. Okay, now I'm on the back side. This is the mortuary temple, or what's left of it. And this is a little pile of rocks out there. And so on the back side, there's an entrance that goes way, 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 way deep down there. Pretty deep. Okay, it's getting a little windy out here, but that is the oldest pyramid in Egypt. And uh, got to walk around it, get, got to see basically how they started making these pyramids. And from this to the pyramids of Giza, oop, you can see how they learned and, and uh, you know, developed their, their construction techniques. Uh, so it's kind of good to see kind of where they started. And then yesterday I got to see where they eventually got to. So it's pretty cool. You see there's an extensive amount of excavation going on here. So here are these uh, cobras here. Alright, on to the next. We the Imhotep Museum, which is next to Saqqara. It is listed. So some of those at the Saqqara Pyramid. The blue tile. Things. Oh, oh, 
we got here? King Merene? Pets. To eat mummified animals. Crocodile, monkey. Okay, this is Ramses the Great. That's perspective of how big this dude is. His legs chopped off. A big fist and arm. Get up and uh, see if I can get the, the top view of this guy. Okay, got up here. Pretty good view of the guy. So, Ramses these colossus. I mean, that's pretty dang big. Some people for scale, and I mean, his legs are chopped off, so I mean, well, from about the knee down, so th this thing stood pretty dang tall. Colossus, there's a bunch of uh, other monuments and uh, artifacts. So, this is pretty much an open air type of park, archaeological park, a lot of shops on the side. A pretty big sphinx up here.
kind of feels like Greece. Olympus is the kind of vibe I'm getting. Olympus, Greece has this open air archaeological park as well. That's neat. A little bit of history, kind of where we are. The excavation site of the, of the settlement. I do appreciate one thing that they do a good job of their excavations. Very similar to like Greece, how they take care of their uh, excavations and so forth. We're in Memphis or at Saqqara. Another 20 minutes south, you get to see a bunch of other pyramids, and these pyramids are not really visited. In fact, um, there's not a lot of tour buses coming out this way, so when you come out here, you get what I call the, the real calm and serene experience of seeing these pyramids. We're going to see if we can drive further down this road and get closer to them, but this is the Red Pyramid, and then this one right here is called the Bent Pyramid. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more of that one. And over here in the far distance, I once called the, the Black Pyramid. And I don't know if there's a way to get closer, but uh, you get these three pyramids. About another 20 minute drive south of Memphis and Saqqara. But it's pretty cool to come out and see these things. One, two, oh, one two and three in the distance from here you can see Saqqara there's a lot of other pyramids you'll see there's a lot of these other pyramids you have to have special permission to go uh, visit those but yeah just on the other side of where these are okay this is the red pyramid they have a little walkway right here it goes all the way to the entrance Alright, heading to Alexandria, Egypt now.